Let's see what happens. I'm gonna bang the water on. Nervous moment. Okay. Everything's held. What the hell was that? Still bang. A straight combi swap. A really straightforward one to be fair. Sun's out, no rain. Look at the setup. Bands here. Pulls in that cupboard over there. Come take a look. We've got this Beesman to take out. Now, the customer wanted the car for repair and replace. So they chose replace, not us. So this one's coming out. Port work should all line up hopefully. And we're going to be putting a back in. All drain offs down there. Just straight out there. I mean, as far as combi swap goes. This is an absolute dream. So, the water's off, heating's draining, test the gas, and we're gonna rip all this out, get that out, get a new board in. Yeah. First thing we wanna do is cut in a lever valve here so then get the water back on. We're gonna be trying out this brand new toy, Milwaukee Auto Cutter, so let's go um, zeroed. Point it forward, and I'm just gonna get it on that pipe, give it a whirl. Beautiful. Oh my god. Why haven't I bought that before? That is so much easier. Right, let's get a lead valve in. Yeah. Back on. Lead valve in. I'm just going to use a little walk cut in there. It's cut across. It's right across there. Oh, this is going to be such an easy one. I've just jinxed it now, I've not. So this is a really good tool to have a compression spanner. 15mm, 22mm. See, it's a little bit tight under this easement. It just gets in there. I'm going to do the notch, just give me a bit more room. I'll get out to the pipe work. Let's take a look at the flue. Never took the V's my flue full, but that clamp was on. And let's just get the light on. Okay, so I've got that movement up and down. I can't see by that, so I'm guessing that was pushed through. So I'll just take these four screws off. I'll get a bit more, a bit more on it. Let's try that. And we just pulled it out. We've been cemented in, so happy days. I do like it then. Does that fit borders properly? We're taking them out. Oh, where's my house? That's right, look. It's been doing like a border pass. Ooh, look at this. Yeah, I sealed it in. It's cemented in. Good. I'm glad it's cemented in. Just makes my life so much easier. Oh, that flew. Now, I just. See you later. Done. Out. Sorted. Now, smashing out cement. So, yeah, all hell the man that didn't cement the flue in. That board is ready to come off now. The Viesman, I've got to say, just on two hook arm brackets there. So I should be able to lift that up and get it off. All is out. Fantastic. Nice and quick. So we're fitting our back seat 824. Let's get the template out. So we do get the filter with this. The pack. Remember last time I fitted one of these? They have the PRV. It's a different story this time. So yeah, let's get the template out, get that on the wall. Let me explain how I've done the template. So, I don't think these line up perfectly. Mm, they might. But I've just lined up the return of the car because I've just got the built-in loop you want them to spot on. So them line up perfectly for there. Then at the top for the flue, you can see that mortar line there. I've lined that one up because we're going for standard low profile elbow. So I've lined it up with that. That is just off centre there. That'll give me my fall. Yeah, all I've done now is just drill the holes. We can take the off, get the bracket on, and get the boiler hung. I should be able to walk up the ladders and get this on. That's the boiler, all long. How long that took me? Anyway, in 10 minutes. Not too bad, is it? The flue's in. What we're gonna do is, the outside, mark the flue. Mark the flue where we need to cut it. I've just left a bit on for the collar. Yeah. It's gonna measure from there to there. And wherever that measurement is, take it off the flue, and that'll be the flue done. The distance from there to there is 113. Put on to the end of there, 130, and get the angle grinder. Give that a cut. Don't forget your goggles. Always wear goggles for using angle grinder and the guard. Make sure the guard's on. Honestly, if that snapped, smacked you in the face, or a bit of that metal shot up and eat you in the eye, well, 
how far would you walk to save your wife? And like, your answer would be as far as, far as you needed to. Well, while, while you walk to the van to go and get your goggles. Wear your goggles, trust me. Okay, flew cut through the hole. Up we go. Now, I'm just gonna put that into there. Here's a bit of silicon grease and get that in. Yeah, that should be nice and easy to get in. And that's the flue all in, all done, all screwed. Now you see what I forgot? The collar. Don't really matter, it's an air test, but if that was inside air, so I'd take all that air and put the collar back on, but don't really matter. And this day we finished outside. There we go. That's the flue all in. Now we do have time. 20 to 12. Got here at 10. I don't do the to be fair. So I'll filter, I should go straight up. I'll take that clip out actually because I might take all the mess and just put black in. I'll do prefer black clips. Uh, so yeah, that should go straight up. Got to put a shock of SD in and the long scale juice are back in on that. Gas should be straight forward, hot should be straight forward, that should be straight forward, that should be straight forward. <sighs> yeah, this is getting really good. Now we are piping up, you'll get three of these in the pack, in the pipe fittings pack. The short one is for the gas. So yeah, that one's for the gas, that one's for flow and returns. So we'll need to now, let's just get all the valves on. And yeah, it should just line straight up hopefully. I'll take them plugs out as well, they're good for try. So we'll just start it from right to left. Uh, we've got the gas in, hot, uh, cold in, return, all connected up. That's ready for the shock of Vesta. Just got to put that in, connect to the large scale reducer. Obviously we've got the lead valve in from earlier. We am leaving the mag clean professional in. It's bigger than the micro. So we'll, we'll get that clean out. We've got to take it off to the clean anyway. So yeah, let me just on this light straight up. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm just gonna get the hot in, which is straight connection, flowing, straight connection, do the electrics and that is ready to go on. So whenever I'm doing a boiler that needs a clean, or I'll just think to myself, what's stopping the boiler coming on? Obviously hot coal, flow return, gas and electrics. The condensate can wait and like the cleaning of the pipes can wait. We can do that while it's cleaning, but I want to get the clean on. I'll get a good clean on this one. Um, so yeah, we just connect the hot, connect the flow, do the electrics, get it on. There we go, that is it all piped up. And I'll tell you about now, the shock arrestor. So we normally promote that rapid blue stuff. Well, not promote it, but we recommend we use it. We've used it since nearly a year now. It's been really good, but PTFE on these just in case. You ever have to swap them because rapid blue, guys, rock solid. So, just use PTF on these or lock toy, whatever you prefer. Yeah, just gonna get that tight in the end. Okay, for the wiring, the programmer, we're using the EPH CP4. We use these as well now, they've been pretty sound. The only thing I don't really like is the wiring, it's a little bit tight in there. So, that's my two old confirmed connections right below the live neutral earth. Yeah, it's just a bit busy there, but. You can do it. Now there is a reason I'm using a three-way way go. So something out of two way. Two ways well. That should fit there and that should come down and push on. Yeah, that'll be fine, that will. I'll just go right up to the boiler now. So we just fed the wire through, got it in, got our connector blocks ready. Got the boys ready, sorry. And I'll do like this about the backsy too. You can just pull these out. I'll pull that out, and that'll be nice and easy to wire. It's all labelled. Live neutral earth on the back as well, on the back of this. There you go. So yeah, live neutral earth there. Open firm is the red one there. Check it in. You can, you'll actually know you can't take them off. So you can only take these off. So that's live neutral earth and your two switches. We're not using them, We're using open firm off here. You'll leave that link in. So if you, if you put uh, 240 volts in or 24 volts in, you leave that link in. You just leave the link in. So you just take the link out that you need and leave the other link in. So I'm just going to get, quickly get that wired up. So that's open firm in. Live neutral left on. And you can, should be able to get that back on there. It's tied very good down to be honest with you. It don't hook on there well. It really don't. Magma clean is all set up. Let's see what happens. I'm going to bang the water on. Nervous moment. Okay. Everything's held. What the hell was that? Just did a bang. Turn off in here. Right. That is closed, so open that. 
Open that. Open that. Come on, get your big boy pants on. Right, let's get fueled. I've got no external gauges there. Probably so. I'm going to have to take the case back off. So far, looking good. Apart from that drain off. Got the clouds out here. Got the clouds out off. Okay, that drain off clouds. Get some cleaning. There we go. Some cleaner. Get the magnet back in. And carry on filling that up now. Get the clean on the go. Right, pressure in the boiler. Magnet still has sorted out, though. Let's pop it on and see what happens. Oh, it's going to go through uh, initialization and purge mode on the back seat, too. So there ain't a lot I can do while that purges. Let's just see the pressure now. So that's just going to pulse the pump on and off until that time that you just sink us down to zero. Let's say it's on the uh, I'm just keep doing that. So yeah. Uh, let's get the thermostat connected actually. Just gotta put the put the batteries in and that'll connect up. I forgot the gas was off. I've just done a test. It's absolutely fine, so let's reset that. Please don't go back into purge mode. If this goes back into purge mode, I swear. Okay, fair enough. Alright, let's press them two. Press and hold the yeah, okay in the back. I should get into sorry the reset in the back that'll get into the sweet mode l slow little h like that is heating and big h is hot water so i'm going to put that on large just so it be and condensate i'll just put that through the wall in 32 because believe it or not where's the old point where's the old point there it is naughty naughty shouldn't do that through the wall should be 32 in all way so i've just upgraded the that I'm just going to run the condensate now. Yeah. Do not do that. Alright, it's condensate. That comes down now. 21.5 down to 32 mil as it goes out the wall. We're going to have to come back and lag that. I forgot the lagging for that. What an idiot. Never mind. Um, so I'll put space on this once I've got some nice thick insulation on that. Now, it's PRV time. I did notice the old one, the Eastman, never took out the PRV, did I? Means they never put it out, sorry. But it just comes in the pack, the PRV does. There's the connection, just push it on. Now I was hoping, hold on, let's take that cap off. Just push it on. There we go. There we go, that's on. Right, that's on, so I'm gonna have to bring it down and out. Behind the back of that, or front? I'll just bring it in front of that, it won't really hurt anything. Yeah, then I'll have to cut that down, which I should have done before I put it in, and I've nicked my finger somewhere, I've just noticed. Okay, right, boil that is up to temp, to be honest with you. Um, I'll put it down to 60, just so it ain't too hot. That's it all pipes up, PRV is in and done. Condensate is in down to there. Clean is, well, it's got a hot clean going through it at the moment. Look at that, drop the soap I was doing the PRV. Damaging bulk, I think, though. Anyway, everything's up to temp now. Um, what we're going to do now is go and do the clean. Now, I have put a few cleans on YouTube, but if you haven't seen it before, what we do is turn all the radiators off apart from one. Then we agitate the radiator with an agitator, it goes into your hammer drum, agitates the radiator, we let that run through the magnets until it runs clear, which keeps you agitating until it goes clear. Then we turn that radiator off, move on to the next one, so on and so forth can't actually film inside as it's a charity um there is people in there so we're not allowed to film inside we're only allowed to film outside so we're gonna go and do the clean then we'll have a look at the magnets so this one here isn't actually inside the center it's on the outside so i'll film just agitating it so you can see what the agitation looks like so it's just an sds attachment fits into the end of your drill onto hammer you can just agitate the radiator I'll turn the volume down now. So we just do that for all the radiators until it runs clear. There you go. I'll take you that straight radiator. Oh, I ain't afraid of that, mate. 
Good stuff. So I've just been round, agitated all the radius. And to be honest with you, I ain't getting nothing come out. So I think it's going to benefit from a main switch more than anything. So I'm getting nothing come out. I better have to take the magnets out. But I ain't going to be hardly anything on it. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's a thought. Look. Barely anything. Barely anything. I think it's going to be better with a main switch. So let's just do a main switch on it. So I've, I've done all the individual radiators. Like I say, I've barely got anything out, so let's do a main switch. See how we get on with that. So I've took the magma cleans off. I'm just going to put the professional back on. Watch on. Oh, he says, oh, I might need two hands for this. Hold on. There we go. Go right back on. That's how I've, I've cleaned all the magnet. I'll show you. There you go. That's clean. Look at that in. Get that tightened back on. And I'll do a main switch. What I'm going to do is open up the drain off. Try and keep it balanced with cold water going in. So, I'm going to have to keep it on the internal gauge. But what you can do is pop that open, a bit of 15 mil point. Boom, look at that. Full credit to that, central leaking. See into that. What a tip that is. Fair play. Right, that's helping you fully. There's plenty of pressure in this to give this some welly. 10.1. Almost like that. Bloody hell. That's tight. Hold oh, on, let me get the grips. So, I'll close the side, so what we'll be doing now. It's going through the return, all the way around the radiators, back up, and it won't go back into the board because it's isolated it straight down the drain off. So yeah, that should be fine. Leave that running for a bit. So look at the water that's coming out. Leave that one in for a bit anyway. Ah, Jesus Christ, just so full. So I've just put the chemicals in, I'm going to tighten the lid on. But did you know with the spanner it'll fit the top, that bit will fit the valves and the nut underneath. It'll fit that as well. So if you need to tighten it, so what I normally do to get the chemicals in, isolate it, take the bottom nut off underneath there and take the lid off and have it drain into there, empty the canister and you get your chemicals in. That's all the chemicals in now. Just got to commission the boiler. Let's get that log. I'm going to do test points up here. I'm going to take them off and uh, do my readings. Now, I normally try to get this on camera, but the analyzer's that noisy. I know, yeah, I just don't think it's worth it, but I'll show you the readings that I'll get anyway. So, yeah, just going to do high and low on this. Do a gas rate. <coughs> you nearly forgot that. Yeah, this one's nearly done now. And that is all done. So just put the lagging on that was there. I'll go get some more for the condensate come back. But I have just gone in there as a radiator leaking, so I'm gonna have to come back with a new radiator to split at the bottom. So looks like it's been going a while though. There's a big wet patch underneath there. But yeah, let's uh, take a look how we finish this one up. So insulation is all done. I mean that's nine mil, that's 19 mil. Look at the difference. This is the final on here. So got the insulation that was already there. So got a shut off valve there for the boiler if we ever need it. Large scale reducer, the professional two by AD, shock arrestor, had a little bit left over there, so I'm gonna get some more insulation, redo this, and just finish it off at the boiler. Uh, PRV, condensate all done. Boiler all in, stick it up. Yeah, flue all done. You don't need that flue bracket, the wall's cemented. That's gonna be enough support for that flue. But yeah, just put the stick on the side there. Just in case they ever need it to top the pressure up. Yeah, that is a Baxi 2, 24 kilowatt, all done. It's even gone dark yet, to be honest with you. I don't too bad there. I don't, I don't start till um, about 10 off 10 sometimes, because I'll take the kids on the school board and then sort out of the van. Um, it's just late start, late finish. That's what I normally used to. But I'll do like a minute, so late start, early finish, but yeah, I don't too bad. I mean, it's, sorry, half past four. Half past four, start at half ten, so six hours. Anything? Done all right there. To half one. I think I've done all right there. But the setup, van there, all of there, really helped out. So 
Ya, malas tu kita mana?